Next software package I'd like to show you guys today is Stream Laser. It's Salvini's laser programming software. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first how to make a single part program. Then I'm going to show you how to make a nest. And then I'm going to show you how to make a nest. But let's say I forgot to make my single part programs and I don't want to have to go backwards to do that. So I'll show you that here in just a second. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in, I'm going to select a DWG, and I'm going to create a single part program. To do that, drag and drop it in, elaborate, which means create the, the processing. I'll come in here, right, compile the program. Okay, at this point, my single part program is done. There's nothing else that I have to do with the single part. Now, let's go ahead and let's make a nest. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to create a new laser nest, we'll call it Dave, I'll create my nest, I'll select the formats, so what my sheet size I want to use in the actual nesting, let it choose what makes the most sense, but I give it a variety, Okay. I'm going to go to my parts, I'll come inside of here, and I can select some of the parts that I've previously created. Okay. When it, when it looks at that as the criteria, what has the least amount of uh, waste, for example, or? So when it makes the nest, it's gonna go yeah. by what is the most efficient on the nest yep. first. Okay. So the layout is gonna go by where I can put parts, if I have to rotate them or whatever I have to do. Yeah. That way I'm saving as much material as, as yeah, possible. Gotcha. At the end okay. Of it. okay. So I'm gonna come inside of here. I'm just gonna select a couple parts that I already have pre programs. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go into my nests. I'm gonna create my nest layout, generate my nesting layout. Mm -hmm. From here, I'm gonna write and compile my programs. And then if everything is done, at the end, it's gonna turn into a, a green color that tells me that these are ready to run at the oh, machine. Okay. So at this point, I could send this to the machine for production. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I want to see more information, I can double click. It's going to show me head up movements, head down movements, if I'm cutting, if I where I come in and start my cut, where I finish my cut, oh, if I have show micro you joints, the, uh, pierce areas and piercing stuff? areas and everything. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It's, wow. It shows you everything. Wow. Okay. So, that's how to create the nest, right? Cool. Now, I want to go ahead and I want to create a nest, but let's say, let's just say that I forgot to uh, make my single part programs. Okay. Because it does happen, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and add my formats, go to my parts, and let's just say I want to go ahead and import parts from a drawing. Say, hey, I forgot where those were. I forgot those parts. I can come in here, select whatever parts it is, however many I want. And what it's doing right now is it's taking each one of those parts, creating them in a single part program. So oh, okay. now I have all of my single parts inside of here, right? Let's say that I want to do this one 10 times. I want to do this one five times, this one three times. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my nesting layout. So show me what the layout's going to look like. Okay, most efficient. Obviously the sheet sizes I used aren't the best for this, this case, but it's just to show you guys how the software works. You, you, you didn't have that nest waiting there. It actually did it in it a did split it. second. Like It did it right yeah. there when I hit nest all sheets. Wow. Quick nest layout. Okay. I'll go to my technology and I'll write and compile my programs. And if everything is good, and ready to run, it'll turn green again for me, and I can go ahead, send the machine for production. Mm -hmm. So, single part programming is very quick, efficient. Uh, making nesting, again, very quick and efficient. Mm -hmm. It uses the best material for utilization wise. Obviously, if you only have standard sheet sizes and you're only running a certain size apart in a certain quantity, you're kind of going to get what you get. Right? Right. But you could also use filler parts. So if you have extra parts that you say that I can make up to 100 of these, mm -hmm. then they're optional parts. What's going to happen is the area 
I'll step back. This area right here, if I was to go and add some more parts and declare them as optional, up to 100 parts, it's going to try to fill it in as much as possible wow. with those optional parts. Mm -hmm. So those are your Kanban type of a parts, right? Yep. Parts that you will use eventually. You might not use them right now, but you will get to that point. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that okay. that stream laser. Um, if there's any kind of questions, comments, yeah. Let me know. Oh, that's great. All right. Thank you. Thank you.